hello hello guys good morning uh, good afternoon good evening depending on the time you are watching this video uh, I'm Ronja Stephen welcome back to my youtube channel and guys thanks for your support thanks for your subscriptions uh, for those who have not yet uh, subscribed kindly uh, make sure you subscribe support me and don't forget to hit the notification bell guys uh, today today I'm at my home and uh, I thought it wise to shoot a video to encourage uh, someone and show you one of the greatest ideas that I came with uh, in 2021 April uh, that really inspires me and something that can really transform the lives of so many of you guys. As I was explaining, in 2021 April, there is a piece of land at our place that we never used to grow anything ever since I was born. We never used to grow anything because we regarded the place as uh, unproductive. It had a lot of uh, maram, so we never used to cultivate it. So at this time in 2021, I planted 2,000, 2,000 or more uh, trees, which are of the type of grevelia. For those who know types of trees, grevelia, I'll be showing you in this video uh, how these trees are performing. So these trees. When I was planting them, I had an idea of uh, a 10 years investment. So in 10 years time, in 10 years time, these trees, I plan to sell them in form of timber. Rightly, right now, uh, the cost of timber has been going up. For those people who know and who are constructing, they know that the cost of timber has been hiking ever. So, uh, because uh, I think one foot, one foot of uh, timber right now uh, is around 35 shillings to 40 shillings, depending on where you are buying it from and the type of uh, tree that, or the type of timber that you are buying. So, in 10 years time, uh, the, the, the cost of uh, timber might be high, I, I, I think might be even 50 shillings per foot. And so, uh, my investment of 2,000 trees that is Grevelia. If each tree can produce an estimate of 5,000 Kenya shillings and I'm applied by 2,000 trees, I'll have an estimate of uh, 10 million Kenya shillings. That is an investment of 10 years. Yes, guys, this is uh, an actual estimate. This is uh, a true thing. For those people who have trees and who have planted trees, 10 years is not a lot of time and it's not a short period of time. This is uh, enough time for any tree to grow to maturity, for any tree to grow uh, to its harvesting time. So, uh, apart from that, apart from uh, this Grevelia that I have planted, because uh, I think the rate at which they are growing is very fast. In fact, they have uh, amazed me. It is something that I never thought would be true. And it is an idea. It is a wealth secret. Because... Most of these uh, wealth secrets, you, nobody will ever teach you at school. Most of our parents never taught them to us. And so I think it is good to share ideas that can transform not only oneself, but families and even this nation. So, assuming, assuming if today you plan, the, you plan like 1,000, you guys, you just take my advice, you plant just like a thousand, and you wait for like 10 years. Even if you sell each tree at a cost of 1,000, you will have 1 million head start. So I think this is an investment that is worth our time, that is worth every, every penny, every, every coin. Now, I want to explain the, the cost. Uh, I, maybe someone is asking, uh, if you, you can plant these 2,000 trees, how much did it cost you? Now, this, uh, I'll break down the cost. Now, the cost of preparing the piece of land, I paid, uh, I think, 3,000 Kenya shillings. 3,000. So the guys uh, removed uh, the necessary trees there, uh, shrubs. Then they dug up the land. So uh, after that, uh, I organized uh, at a cost of, I think, 1,000 Kenya shillings for guys to dig uh, the holes. Not so deep. In fact, I dug no more holes. 
that could uh, hold the the plants when they came then uh, i talked to a guy uh, who supplied me uh, i'll show you the seedlings like the ones that i have that will be planted today at the shooting of this video because it has been raining heavily here so uh the guy who was supplying me the seedlings was supplying at a cost of uh, 10 shillings per seedling. I know, the cost of uh, seedlings is also going up. Uh, the cost of living is also going up, guys. And so, uh, everything is almost hiking its prices. So, uh, the cost of one seedling was 10 shillings. So, I bought these seedlings worth of 20,000, but I never paid all of the money at once. So, I paid half. Then I talked to the guy, I told him because it's raining and rain rains won't wait. Supply me with all these seedlings. So we, we agreed uh, after paying the first half, he supplied the first half. Because even if you, you check my trees, they, they have a difference in growth. Because uh, some I planted earlier, others I waited for like two, like two to three months. And I also had to water them because the rains never performed so well. So I had to water them for like three months. Then they came up so well. So for the Grivelli alone, the Grivelli alone, I have an estimate of uh, 2,000. And today I'll be adding like 200 extra around my farm. So around the boundaries. So uh, those ones will also, will also tally at the time of uh, harvesting. Because this timber, this timber, if we harvest it at the right time, it's going to give us a lot of money a lot of money so uh, i foresee a 10 a 10 million investment in a period of 10 10 years now guys apart from that i have uh, other types of trees i have eucalyptus yes eucalyptus does not do so well and uh, i don't think it's a good encouragement uh, unless you are planting it at the places that rain so much but i planted like 500 of them around my driveway so uh, along my driveway, I planted, I'll show you guys, the trees have grown so much. So around my driveway, I planted on each side 250, 250 of these uh, trees. So these trees, uh, I plan to do away with them, let's say in five years, because I don't want to uproot them now. So in five years time, when I uproot them, uh, or I do away with them, my estimate is, to sell each of them at a cost of only 1000 so I, I can sell them as uh, as poles for construction as poles for fencing those things so uh in five years time if i invest this uh, eucalyptus and each i sell at a cost of 1000 i love a half a million Kenya shilling. other types of uh, plants Number one, I have avocados around 100. I'll show you. I'll show them to you guys. Like 100 avocados that have already grown so well. Some will be grafted either today or within the week because I want to mix them. I have the traditional, I have the grafted, I have uh, the ones that I use for export. So I've planted many. I have avocados, I have pixies. I have uh, lemons, I have oranges, I have many bananas with me. I have other types of fruits, so many. I've planted across the chamber. Wherever there is space, I plant. Let's say uh, in five years time, three to five years time, all my avocados start to, to fruit. So if I'm able to harvest avocados uh, worth 200,000, every season that was that is on the low side i'll never be pushed to say that there is no employment there is no money because i know uh most of these these investments are for life unless you cut the avocado it will be fruiting for the for the next 30 to 40 years there is a lot of market for things like lemon pixies the prices have been hiking and so uh, the demand for avocados is also going up. So guys, uh, I want to encourage you. You as a young person, you as a youth, you as a person who is working, you don't have a lot of time with your farm. Come, come home, take my head, plant trees. Don't wait, plant trees. Plant as many as possible. Start with the Grivelia, plant uh, those fruits. 
So uh, come with me. I'll be showing you my trees, my avocados. So uh, and I want to encourage. Please make sure that you subscribe, hit the like button, uh, comment, share, and don't forget the notification bell. Guys, uh, from my drive, uh, my carport there. This will be my driveway. So I'll turn my camera. And this marks the first eucalyptus. See this? This tree here. This tree here. This one. Is one and a half years old. This. You can see how tall it is. It is one and a half years. This one. Now from here. All the way. Because this is my driveway. And that is the tarmac up there. Up there. That is the tarmac. So this one. All the way up to the road. It has an estimate of 200 to 250. Of this eucalyptus. So let me show you, you see, all this. These eucalyptus, I planted them one and a half years ago. And they are doing so well. I don't know whether you guys, uh, your soils are as good as mine. So you see, very nice trees. Very nice. Very nice, you see. All the way. Then on this side, apart from uh, this type of trees, these ones, the pine, I had this. This one, this tree, I planted the same day with this one. But the lorries have been stepping on the this line so much because they were drifting towards this side when they were delivering the material. So they they used to come up here. So now we have uh, strict rules. You don't step on them. So we have replaced. We replace around 150 to 200 of this. So this is a replacement. I have replaced them during this rainy season these ones these are the the eucalyptus that i i replaced they are going all the way to the road so these ones they have grown you see enormous great if you harvest all this in the next five years we only sell each even if i sell only this line each at at a cost of one thousand i love a quarter million with me free money check this and they are very straight, very nice. You see, all this, all this. So I go up. So this is my driveway. It's so muddy. Uh, lorries have been stepping here as they deliver things. So extending all the way to the road, I have all these, all these eucalyptus, all of them. You see, up to where my construction is there. So the other line here. The same but here we have had to do mass replacements because we had to replace all this line all this up all the way to the road except on that side so uh so so guys uh the investment of trees the investment of trees and fruit plants uh is well paying so long as you are patient enough so long as you'll take you'll take my advice now don't wait for tomorrow most of these investments don't wait for tomorrow and you don't have to plant like 2000 like me 500 no start with 100 100 is 1000 kenya shillings only a thousand kenya shillings you can have 100 plants so if you have 100 today this rainy season the next rainy season you plan like 200 the other rainy season you plan like 200 in a span of a year you have like 500 trees so uh, I encourage you guys please do something this is an investment in 10 years time let's say you you don't do anything they say you have chances of losing when you play but you definitely lose when you don't play so for those who will uh, take my advice and plant say 2000 trees in the next 10 years you'll have from 1 million going up 10 years if you don't plant you'll have nothing so the best thing is to play the game even if you lose you'll have lessons for yourself if you see behind me here all these are grevelia all these on my 
behind my construction they extending all the way even if i turn all this the extent all the way to the road so i'll take you to a mini forest of mine full of grevelia trees and i show you guys uh what uh what i did and how they have grown so come with me these ones these ceilings you see here these ones they are 200 in number they were delivered yesterday so these ones the cost of these ones is around 2000 kenya shillings all this 200 pieces i think they are around 220 something so they will all be planted today as you can see not so much but uh, they'll be very rewarding now these trees you can see how tall they are the, all these trees i planted them in one and a half years ago one and a half years you can see the sun is coming up there still in the morning it's around 7 7 or 5 a.m so you can see all these trees all these i planted them in the past uh, one and a half years you can see the extent all through up so i'll check let me take the camera down you can see all these trees this place we never used to grow anything here yeah. we never used to plant we never used to grow this place anything because we regarded it as uh, as unproductive so that's why i took the heat the initiative to plant trees you can see you see all these trees they extending up all the way to the neighbor's places there so all this we have all that others are down there it's still in the morning there's a lot of uh, dew on the maize and beans so i don't want to step around there so i'll show you i'll take you to the avocados guys now guys on this uh on this portion on this uh, side of the garden because you still have some grevelia here they're extending all through uh to where we have our boundaries our neighbors all these are grevelia one and a half years old apart from that i said that i have some avocados between 50 to 100 this is one of them this is an avocado this one uh i have others here i have uh, let me show you i have this type we call this in soil is ambara that one but from that i have uh, i have pow pows so many of them in fact in the next three years i'll be selling pow pows in wholesale here this is an avocado one and a half years old all these trees i planted them in the past one and a half years old this is an avocado this is another one this is a pow pow this is a pow pow this one this is another pow pow this we have avocados this is another pow pow This is an avocado here, this one. This is a pow pow. We have pow pows here. All these are grevelia trees going up, up again. All this amounting to 2,000 or more. We have that. That's an avocado there. That's another one. This is a pow pow. We have another. We have. Uh, I planted the different types like this. This one in soil you call it tomoko. That one. This one in there. So I have a variety of fruits. We have bananas over there. It's overgrown with beans. So up there. So I'll uh, I'll go up through this section because uh, it's not so thick around here. Now, on this line here, I have around 50 bananas 
on this line along this one so it extends all the way to home and all the way to our boundaries up there so in between these are banana in between there is something there is either an orange like this and there's a banana this is a lemon like this this is a lemon like this so we have a banana a lemon a banana a pixie a banana uh, an orange there a banana uh, a pixie again a pixie so we have in that we have a banana we have a lemon we have another one here we have a banana a banana we have something here something that seems to, to have dried up so this is a banana we have i think this is a lemon here we have a banana here we have uh, a pixie here a pixie there and that's all so a banana we have something else maybe i think this is a lemon or oh, it's an orange i don't know then these bananas another one so i go up this is an avocado this one is one and a half years old see how tall it is in fact it's taller than me see taller than me one and a half years even others they are there very tall here up there avocados all over very tall on this other section up here guys i have other types of trees these this is an apple apple plant we have that oranges if i come to this section we have these lemons we have these apple trees then here on this section overgrown with beans here i have a line of pow pows i have another one there a line of pow pows and i have a third one up there so all of them almost 100 pow pows so we are going to have our wholesale here very soon all these are either oranges or lemons i don't know we have this one a very nice fruit here i have an overgrowth of bananas here i have other things there where we have all these maize 